money. Something else that they wanted. Your father worked for the CIA. I was his commander. The Russian Sartari and Brooke. You tell me where I find the Russians, and I'll tell you how you find your list. Jonathan Chicks. Wealthy, young, handsome. A man with the brightest of futures. A man with the darkest of pasts. From Africa's deepest recesses to the rarefied peaks of Tibet. Heir to his father's legacy and the world's darkest mysteries. My son, you must have faith and learn. This is not the end. This is the beginning. Jonathan Chase, master of the secrets that divide man from animal. Animal from man. Manimal. takes effect. Now then, one last opportunity for you to tell the truth, Mr. Sloan. All at once, you shall force me to introduce you to our newfound friend. Why don't you do the honorable thing and kill me quickly? Now, you know we can't do that. At least not until you've told us what you've done with the list. The list. Tell me where the list is. Uh. The list. The list, yes. With the money. Uh, the list is with the money. The money. What money? Uh, two million. Two million dollars? From where? Uh, from, uh, from the company. And where is that money? Money? To start a new life. To forget the... the killing, the spying. Forget the money. Where is the list? List is with the money. He's starting to hallucinate. it. The list is going to get you killed, you fool. He's still struggling. I don't understand it. Now tell him where the money is. The list will get me killed. The list will get killed. What's happening? Look at him. He's not moving. What happened? Slipped into some kind of coat. No, we never find it. We'll find it. Make sure he never comes out of that coma. Be very careful. It's very dangerous. We shall wait and see where the trail leads us.
ไม่เพิ่มโอ้ลี Can't someone close his eyes? It won't close. It's a vascular paralysis caused by some poison or drug. It's only temporary, I assure you. He should be thrilled to hear that. Where's the murder weapon? Right here. Excuse me. Get that away from me. Don't worry, it's dead. I checked the entire cabinet, Lieutenant. There's no luggage, no carry-ons, nothing. Well, we can. Hardly blame the theft on this little fellow now, can we? Also for homicide. <clears throat> Any more than he can be held responsible for rope burns on his wrist. Okay, okay. The spider had an accomplice. Henry, get everybody out of here and let the lab boys have the room. Yep. I can see it now. This can be another one of your fun cases, isn't it? Let go of me! I have a right oh. to see my father. Oh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, something terrible happened to force my father to leave the Bahamas. He sent me one of those overnight express pouches. He said to meet the boat. If he wasn't on it, I was to follow his instructions. Where are those instructions now? They're in a lock at the airport. Okay. That's our first stop. Ah, success. I was right. About what? My tarantula was murdered. Say who? My analysis of the spider's blood reveals enormous amounts of benzedrine strychnosis. Ah, I'm glad you cleared that up. Sorry. That means that we have something deadly on our hands. This time, I mean the two-legged species. I do hope that Terry is not marked for the same fate as her father. You're absolutely safe here. I promise. She left the hotel. No, I couldn't. She wasn't alone. All right. Same time. Hello there. A nice guy. This was in the locker at the airport. Your father's handwriting. To be open only in case of my death. If you love me, trust no one. I think my father did a lot of banking there. An airline ticket. One way to Nassau. Two million more. Where this came from, Terry? Love, Dad. Quite a legacy. Huh? Well, it has to be a joke of some kind. I mean, there's no way that my father could have left me two million dollars. Two million or no two million, it sure smells like your father knew his life was in danger. So now you know why I'm so scared. I could be next. Not if we have anything to do with it. Brooke, get to the lieutenant and the coroner. Have them order a new autopsy. Have them search particularly for a needle mark in the vicinity of the spider bites and the possible presence of the drug benzedrine and strychnosis. Benzedrine. What? Strychnosis. It's a slow-acting protein poison whose symptoms include a psychosis which results in very loose tongue, bulging of the eyes, and then finally death. And in the meantime, Terry and I will take the first possible flight to the Bahamas.
best if we all register in my name. That way no one will know that we're here, right? Yes, very strong. So much for that plan. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you barely recognize me. You're only about ten when I passed through Cleveland with your father. Arnold Sykes. Oh, of course. Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Chase. Mr. Earl. This is Arnold Sykes, my father's partner. Glad to meet you. How do you do? How do you do? I hope you know how devastated we all are by the news. Tell me, how did you know that Miss Sloan was arriving today? And quite frankly, we're trying to keep her presence here as quiet as possible. Oh, well, Michael, as that is, her father told me to be expecting her. There's no great problem to check with the airlines. The visitors' cards are a matter of public record. And naturally, you'll, uh, you'll stay at the house of Mildred and me? Well, that's a very generous offer, Mr. Sipes, but, you see, I work for the New York Police Department, and because of the nature of her father's death, we intend to keep Terry under tight security. Well, if I can't invite you to the country, at least let me offer you the best meal in town. Well, uh, it's a private club. She'll be quite safe. But like that, how can I possibly refuse? Thank you. Then. Now, you check in, and I'll phone ahead. Was that smart? Well, we came here for some answers. Two men who have been in partnership for 15 years must know something about each other. Follow the spike. Come on, Terry. I'll show you how it's done. No, I really don't feel up to it. Terry, right, you're going to take your mind up. Nicely done. Well, you just look like a man who has something on his mind. Yes. I just don't know how implicated the girl might be at this point. Sloan got in some kind of trouble. I don't know what. I mean, you couldn't get out of it? It's the van. Yeah, I think what color? Drugs, contraband. I don't know. I'm yeah, sorry to hear that. How does that leave you? Personally, I feel a terrible loss. We started out in the army together. As a company, it's even worse. We didn't leave exactly empty handed. Ah. Uh, Esmond? That's illegal, too. He didn't really think he wanted. Unfortunately, he took all the money he had. If I don't get it back, we're in a bad way. Do you have any idea what he might have done with the money? Yes, I have an idea. Oh? Afraid I'll have to let you know. Get all this. drug induced a heart seizure, which in fact caused Sloan's death. So just as some people are allergic to penicillin, Michael Sloan had a lethal reaction to the truth. Yeah, that's the way the coroner called it. Real James Bond stuff. He said one dose and you sell your own mother. <laughs> oh, that was great. You know, the time's really good. Oh, I'm such a mess. If you don't mind, I'm just going to go freshen up a little bit. Oh, hold on, brother. Uh, not alone, please. I'll be glad to see you safely there. 
Thank you. That's very kind. Bro. Yeah, the intelligence guys are having a habit of using that drug these days, despite its high risk. Yeah, I think we're under something big. Listen, I'm going to take the red eye tonight. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Ooh. Wow, that was my nice fun. Sure, if your body's a noodle. Uh, nice. Oh, I'll be the next person. Come on. You're hurting me. Where are the papers? I don't know what you mean. What the hell you don't? That's far enough. Okay. Have any idea who it was? No. Obviously, there's more to this than anyone knows. He could have killed me. My head feels like it's split in two. You called the play. What choice did I have? You saw those two Russians watching every move we made? Well, let them in. Tell them what's going on. They're all cops. They're all weighing over their head in this game, Donner. And we don't know which side of the net the girl's playing. Frankly, I have my doubts about it. Oh. Change. Hi. I remind you that we're here on uh, very dangerous business. Keep your eyes open. Thanks, Lou. You two still care. Number 512. It will take two keys to give you access. Thank you. It really is two million dollars. Kind of explains the heat, doesn't it? But where could it have come from? Terry, I don't know how to put this to you, but uh, your father's partner did mention that there was a considerable sum of money missing from the company's accounts. No, he couldn't have. I know Dad traveled a lot. He lived pretty high, but... To steal from his own partner. Well, they're all freshly printed. It should be an easy enough task to check the serial numbers, find out which bank issued them. Excuse me. May I remind you that there's a security camera right outside this door? Then you will take the case and leave with me, sir. Looking like a happy man chance to live. You ladies stay here if you want your friend to live. Come on, my near to pass, our fancy can make. Five dollars. Get your heart right here, man. It's a briefcase. Yeah, fabulous fun. I can see my friends want some. Hey, man, I got a great deal for you. Hey, boss, fine hats, three medallion, one one man for carnival. Get away from me, then I don't want it. Hey, man, wait a minute. Look good on you for reggae. You know what you get upset for? No. We uh. piss.
nothing. Nothing but money. Before he died, Sloan said, the list is with the money. It has to be there. The list is there. Unless there was something more. Something you didn't get from the girl at the bank. It's possible they removed something from the briefcase. While they're inside the security booth, they couldn't see. You will find it. We have no choice but to pick her up. What about the people with her? Well, since when do we worry about the local authorities? We can buy them and kill them. Now take this to our technical people and have them examine the contents more carefully. What's going on? What's all that shooting? What's the matter with you two? You're trying to waste a day? Say something, you're half wet, you act as... No! must have died with him. Come on, then. Let's just review the contents of that envelope again. There was a key, an airplane ticket to Nassau, a note, and a fresh, crisp $100 bill. There must be something that we're not seeing. There's nothing wrong with this money, Jonathan. It's brand new, genuine, uncirculated currency. Mm, just like the note that Terry got from her father. Terry. Let me see that hundred again, and the note. Thank you. Two million more where this came from, Terry. Love, Dad. Why are the Russians so upset? Maybe some of the money is missing. No. no there must be nearly 200 packs of $10,000 apiece, and that makes two million dollars. Oh. Now, who knew that we were at that private club? And who knew precisely the time that we were going to be at that exact bank? My father's partner. Precisely. Maybe we should call the police. I thought we were the police. Okay. So the Russians wanted to know what was in the case, but they weren't particularly interested in the money. I think it's now time that we should give somebody else a chance to look at it. You don't mean we're going to sit around and wait to be robbed again? No, not at all. And I don't believe somebody just walked in and stole the money from you. What do you take me for, a complete idiot? Now, either you walk in here with the money in the list, or you've got a war on your hands. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Yeah, sight. Come out there. Why? No, no, I want them in here. All right, all right. I'm afraid I don't want to expose it to anyone that you don't trust. 
If there's no one here, I wouldn't trust my life or family. All right. I guess we'll have to rely on your judgment. Good. We're about to tell you must remain strictly confidential. There's no one here but us. What a beautiful bird. Does it talk? A little. Sammy, you say good morning to the ladies? Say good morning. Good morning. What's he saying? I don't know. He's getting old. Uh, oh, by all the secrecy. Does it have to do with something with your father's death? You said you were looking for some missing money. You found it? Twice. I don't think I understand. Well, we found it, and then we lost it. My lord. He's got it back. Thanks. Uh, thank heavens, I'm very grateful. It isn't over yet, Arthur. Why did he send me that key if the money didn't belong to him? Well, a man does a lot of things when he's frightened or guilty, or both. He must have sent you some kind of note. Yes. Can I see it? A million more where this came from, short and to the point. Are you looking for something? Some clue to what was in his mind when he... Oh, when he embezzled the money. My father wouldn't do that. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way to tell you. But you said you wanted to hear the truth. Did you go to the police? <laughs> well, you talk about secrecy. Well, I got one that blow you away. You're, you're going to find out about it sooner or later. You think your father was in the import business? Well, he wasn't. What are you saying? Your father worked for the CIA. I was his commander. Then that might explain what happened. You know why he was... why he died? No. Your father got in some kind of trouble. Something went wrong with his life. I don't know what. Drugs, women. He must have needed money. That's harder and harder for me to believe. He's going, Mr. Sipes. He took money from our contingency bank account. Kind of a government emergency war chest. He gave it to you. This is government money. I wish you could keep it. You can call the bank. Check. Frank Land. He'll confirm everything I just said. I don't understand how this is going to tell us anything. It's an old police procedure, Terry. It's now Mr. Sipes' move. But how are we going to know what he does? If we told you, you wouldn't understand. Did you believe the luck of those new bonehits walking in here with that case? Don't start celebrating yet. We don't find the list right back where we start. Damn. I don't believe it. It's got to be in there. Let me have a look. If it isn't here, it has to be in the note of the money he gave to us. What did that note say? There's something about more money being in there. You can check with the bank. Frank Lambert, he'll verify everything. I <laughs> Some million more where this came from. Short to the point. I know it's here somewhere. It's right under our noses where he could produce it the minute he needed it. Bone head! Bone head! Apple up, bone head! Bird's getting too smart for his own good. I suggest the shooting is the last thing we want right now. Too bad. Losing a good man like Sloan put me in the mood for a little target practice. Night, fella. Good morning. Good morning. I'll send this back to the lab. No, nope. we're just missing something. There can't be anything that sophisticated. Sloan didn't have enough time. He ran because he got scared. Scared? Come on. What could frighten a guy like Sloan? He was the best. I put my life in his hands any time. Haven't you figured it out yet? Sold out. Sloan? Never. Sorry, I didn't want to believe it either. He lost two men over this list. He tried to sell it back to the Russians. The Russians don't buy, they take. So he ran. He took the money out of a contingency fund when he found out you can't run from the Russians. What about the list? Well, the girl is either following her father's instructions or playing dumb while the Russians pay her off, or this doesn't know where it is. Either way, the Russians will kill it. Tough break. Yeah. We lost the list for good. Oh, I meant for the girl. Her own father set her up. It's not our fault. Look, I'm star. Let's put this money away and go for lunch. I'm worried about J.C. Brooke. Maybe we should go look for him. No, John, John has said to stay put. I'll get it. It's got to be J.C. Ah! 
I know I'm bleeding to death. Not bleeding to death. It's a superficial wound. It's easy for you to say it's not your vital fluids leaking out. Ty, we are in trouble. We're in trouble. What about Brooke and Terry? I know I tried to stop them. Yeah, that's obvious now. Those are the Russians. I don't know. Those guys who grabbed the case first time. I know as much. And how on earth are we ever going to find Brooke and Terry? I mean, how can we find the Russians? You know, I am convinced. That man that I have just left is the one who holds the key. Sipes? Key. 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 That's what this whole thing is all about. A key so obvious that Michael Sloan was sure that we would find it. The two million dollars are staring us in the face trying to tell us something. Two million one hundred. Right. Two million one hundred. I mean, to a man who has everything, it may not seem that important. But if you round it off to the nearest number, trying to get rid of untidy amounts, I'll take the hundred with the note. Lord, that's it all along. Of course. Of course what? Five, you are brilliant. Now, where did Terry put that handbag? Ah. One envelope. One. One hundred dollar bill. Now, we must get back to the money immediately. That way we can find Terry and Brooke. Come on. Um, what did I say? I'll tell you in the car. found a list that the Russians were anxious to get their hands on. You too, I suspect. Shall we go inside? Yeah. Better keep an eye on out here. You don't want to be disturbed. Now, what's this all about? I can tell you how to find the list you're looking for if you tell me what this is all about. I can't. Okay, no list. All right. I didn't want to tell Terry what we suspected. Sloan was the KGB. Made a deal. Went double. Sold out. I don't want to believe that for Terry's sake. You think I did? Okay. The list. What is it? Oh, come on. We'll see it soon enough. Where is it? The Russians have Terry and Brooke. You tell me where I find the Russians, and I'll tell you how you find your list. Fair enough. We're looking for a list of KGB agents. Sloan spent two years trying to get his hands on it. All deep cover. People we never suspect. Worth a lot of money. Now, where are the Russians? I can set it up. You show me the list. I can't stand a chance of you using it to negotiate the two ladies back. You'd rather let them die than hand over a list. Chase, please, I don't make the rules. That list is worth a lot of lives. Okay. Okay. Well, that's no point. Give me the money. You went all through it. Yes. Without the key. This bill is the key. This hundred dollar bill sent to Terry. Brand new and numbered in sequence. Which tells me that from there, we have two million dollars. One hundred dollars there. Now, on this bill is L3184783138A. So, which will be wanting in this stack, and this one. Yeah. The stack begins L3184781A and ends L3184789019A. Right. Now, what does that Which means that this $100 bill should come smack in the middle of this stack. But it isn't. And yet this pack appears to be complete. Which tells me that somewhere in this pack there's a bill that doesn't belong. The serial number does not follow suit. But do you remember Michael's message to Terry? There's two million really more where this came from. Correct. So, let's see where this came from. Huh. Here's a serial number that does not belong. That looks normal enough. It's been wet. It's a touch regular. You guess. Ultra-bought it pen, lemon juice, and what you use. Very good. The list of 
senior Americans working for the Soviet Union. Your name at the top of the list. I'll take the list. Shocking must have been like your dear friend to learn that you'd been working as a double agent all these years, leaking his hard work to the Russians. I don't see what interest that will be of yours, Chase. You won't be around to see the new world. <laughs> Crack the case? I'm afraid so. What's going on? I found out why we couldn't find the list. You were right, Donner. They took it in the bank before the Russians jumped it. But why? That's what we're going to find out when we trade them back to the Russians from the Sloan. You're not honestly going to believe him, are you? He's sending you a home. Put them in the truck and lock it up. Let's get going. Where? The Russians war. But just the two of us? No backup? You've been itching here to crack at those commies without command tying your hands at every step. This is your chance, Donner. Your big chance. Let's go. Jeezy? That's where you're coming to? That was a mean blow you took there. I can tell if you're bleeding or not. But this bump is definitely growing. Matter of fact, everything is growing. Oh, no. no. JC, don't look at me. JC, don't do that, man. JC, come on, man. Don't, don't do that. I'm not going to be locked up in here with you. JC! Your father, unfortunately, my dear, was allergic to the serum. It killed him. Please. No. Look. I was with her every night. And I can tell you as much as she can. Come on out. I said, come on out. Come on in and get us. You want to make it tough on yourselves, huh? Where's the other one? I don't see him. What difference does it make if he's hiding behind one of those crates? They got both their hands tied. Come on. This is where we tied him up, but I don't see him. Okay, I'll look back here. You check the front of the truck. Now tell us about your father, my dear. My father worked for the CIA. You see, my naive young friend, she thought she was innocent. What kind of work was he doing? on special assignment, trying to prove that the Russians had planted deep and powerful agents in high places in our government. He was afraid. We not tell them anymore. Terry, don't. What was he afraid of? He was afraid of what he was finding out. He was afraid that it could cost him his life. He was to leave me proof of who the traitors were. Once again, young lady, and this time we'll give you a full, possibly lethal dosage. If you don't complete your little story, where is the least hidden? JC, we gotta get in there, man. That's the stuff they used to kill a father. <laughs> Ty, I think I've got an idea. You don't have to do that. I'll tell you. You, you know where the list is? Yeah. 
We found it right away. That is, my partner and I did. We didn't even tell Terry. That's a very convenient story, my dear. The only trouble is that I can prove it within minutes. Just how much time do you think you bought for yourself? Try me. Come on, stop it, Get up here. Come on, move it. Look, get turning going. Come on, Ben, move, move. Do you realize you can't possibly shoot all of us before we could shoot at least two of you? Yeah, but my first bullet takes you out, big fella. Now you like them apples. I have no choice but to die for my cause, gentlemen. You will kill this intruder with your first shot, Miss Mackenzie with your second. That will leave you with Miss Sloan to locate the list. Now, hold on, Tommy, brother. I mean, let's not get hysterical about this thing. That's what I thought. Take them. Down! Ah! Consider a promise is a promise. Jonathan, how? Oh, and I should point the trunk. You may get quite a ride. Help! Jonathan! Exactly what you would call a relaxing time in the Bahamas. Come on, Tyler, let me fix you some herbal teas. Is that okay with you, Jonathan? Yes, it's fine. Go ahead. I'm very glad I got to know you. You're a special guy, and I owe you a lot for clearing my father. Well, the pleasure is entirely mine. Not entirely. Here you go. Jonathan! Jonathan! I do hate to interrupt us, but we do have to decide what we're going to tell Rivera. You do work it out. I'm still sick of having to give that money back. Well, our friend, Mr. Donner of the CIA, told us that we couldn't file a report, so Officer McKenzie suggested you tell me what we tell the lieutenant. I don't know. Mind you, Lieutenant Rivera would like to think that the spider did it. Oh. Rivera? Rivera. Oh. Well, what are we going to say? What's going on here? You guys have been gone for two days. No phone calls, no wires, nothing. We were very busy, sir. Uh-oh. I suppose it's going to be another one of those reports, right? With panthers and, and anteaters and, uh, and, and mongoose. Well, not exactly. Uh, even stranger than that. Uh, how much stranger? Well, would you believe a complicated charade between the American CIA and the Russian KGB? No. No, I don't think you would. Well, you may put your mind at rest, Lieutenant. The spider 